everyone, Adam here. In the last video, we calculated position averages, position best, and position worst values. In this video, we're going to calculate team and athlete average best and worst values based on the criteria uh, that we select. And what you'll notice is from between last video and this one is that I added some headers up here. And we're just going to align the calculations that we did in the last video with the appropriate headers. So we have position average right here, our averages. I'm going to highlight all those cells and drag with this little hand tool that you see here over to where the position average column is. And then remove position average. And for position best, I'm going to highlight all this stuff. Hand tool, drag next to position best. And for position worst, do the same thing. Drag over to position worst. So just create these columns. Uh, in this order for yours. And we're going to do some things later um, with them. You'll see why this is important a little bit later, but just trust me on this. And again, I'll have a full blown out template that you could get if you wanted to um, with all this stuff already done. But so we have our position best. And now to calculate our team best, it's very, very easy, right? So we have a bunch of stuff in this position best. If you didn't watch the last video or it isn't resonating with you and you did watch the last video, you'll, you'll get it now. You should get it a little bit better now. So we can copy this formula and paste it to the team best area. Now, the only things that we need to change are in each of these formulas, right? We're saying if the, if we checked off in our admin area that the lower is better is true or the metric that we select um, a lower value is better. If that's true, then we want to get the minimum value with our conditions. If it's not true, we want to get the maximum value for its conditions. So that values where higher is better, we get the highest value, and, and metrics where lower is better, we get the lowest value. And these conditions come right after, or are included in these minifs and maxifs formulas. So table C, or testing data C to C equals to A7, is that the position is equal to forward. All we have to do to, trans, to transfer position best to team best is remove this position from the formulas. So C to C, A7, C to C, A7, gone and gone. And we can click enter, and there we go. So this is the team best, right? The position best was not the team best. And if we copy this formula and paste it down to the other metrics, there we go. Now we have the team best for the testing session that we selected um, for the team that the player is on. Now, we just have to do the same thing for the position worst. So we copy the position worst, paste it in the team worst, and we don't care about C to C anymore. Testing data C to C or the position being equal to the player's position. We want to remove that from our criteria and click enter. And there we go. We can copy the formula and paste it down. Now we have team worse. And now for position average, it's the exact same thing, right? So we copy our average ifs formula, paste it to the team average, and instead of testing data C to C being equal to A7, we say let's get rid of that because we don't care about position anymore. And click enter. And now there's the team average. And copy that and paste it down to the cells below. Great. Now, athletes, best all time. Now, instead of just removing things, we're going to have to change a couple things. And let's use the team best to do this. Okay, so let's copy the team best, paste it to the athlete best. Now, what do we need to change? Think about that for a second. We have the team, or testing data D to D, being equal to the team of the player or the athlete and the session in our database being equal to the session that we pick. Well, the first thing is we don't want the team average anymore. We want the athlete average, right? So testing data D to D is where the teams reside. Let's look in our database, see where the player or the athlete names reside. And they're in column A. So if we go back to our chart data, instead of wanting to get the best value for the team, let's get it for when A to A in our testing data, which is where the athlete's name is, is equal to A4 
or where the athlete's name that we pick is, right? So we're getting the average or the minimum value in this case, if, never mind, I don't want to get, we're getting the value for if the athlete is the athlete that we pick. And we'll change D to D to A to A and A for here also. And now we don't care about the testing session, right? Because we want the players all time best or all, all time worst, whatever we're looking for for all time. So let's remove this testing data H to H being equal to A13. So we get rid of the testing session criteria. Oops, skip A4. And let's do that again down here. Testing data H to H being equal to A13, get rid of it, and click Enter. And now we have the athletes all time best. And we can copy this formula and paste it down. And now we have two options. And we'll go with the easier option, which is just to copy the formula that we just did, the athletes all time best, copy it, paste it to the all time worst, and change true to false, just like we did with the position and the team ones. And click enter, because now we're getting the opposite of what we got for the best. We're getting the highest value for CMJ average because higher is better for that metric. And now we're getting the lowest value for that metric because we changed this to false. And we'll copy that formula and paste it down. And the last thing that we need to do here to get the athletes all time average is copy the one from the team average and paste it over. And again, we're just gonna have to make those changes. So we're not looking at the team anymore, or D to D, not equal to A10. We want column A to A, which is where the player names reside in our database. We want them to equal A4, which is the name of the player that we select. And even we're, though we're going, to we're going to want to remove the selected session from this, let's just click enter now. If I can, click enter now. And copy the formula and paste it down. Now this is the athlete's value for the session. This is exactly what we're displaying on our other page. And what I want to do is I want to drag all these formulas. So highlight them, get the hand tool, drag them over next to these variables. And we're just going to call this um, athlete value for now. And we can check whether these line up with our other calculations, right? So the athlete CMJ average 20.46. We go to our testing dashboard, 20.46. Broad jump is 97. Let's check. Broad jump is 97. So, so we're looking good. The reason why I wanted to leave this in here is because now, even just on this page, you can kind of quickly see everything that's going on, which might help you with your calculations. Uh, so if the athlete value is greater than the position best or the team best, um, you know there might be something wrong there. But if we copy this formula that we just did now, and we paste it over to the athlete all-time average. The last thing that we have to do is just remove the session, right? We don't care about the session anymore or that H to H is equal to A13. You don't care about that. So let's remove it, click enter. And now we have the athlete all-time average and we can copy that and paste it to the cells beneath. And there we have it. So that's great. And the last thing that I wanna do in this video is set us up for the next one. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. The first is let's add in a column here. So that there are three columns in between the athlete value and the position best. And I'm going to select all this stuff that we've done. And I'm going to drag it down. Eh, drag it down one column. That's fine. Now, underneath position best, we're going to type in best, best, best under position, team, and athlete all time, and then average, 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 and you could just copy and paste if you want to. I'll go worst, worst, worst. This is setting up for our next video. You don't have to worry too much about it. If you don't want, you could do it then. And we're just going to remove the best from this. We're going to say position, team, athlete athlete uh, all time, we'll position, and I'm just gonna copy what we've done here and paste it and paste it. So now we've just separated it out into two cells. That's all we've done. This is the position average, this is the team average. And now up here, what we're going to do 
is we're going to say we're say chosen we'll say chosen and we'll copy that and paste it across here then we'll do best average worst and why am I doing this because in the next video we're going to set up something where we can choose on the fly what we compare to um, in our visualization please like leave a comment below with what you like to compare your athletes testing data to whether it's the position the team the athlete if it's a mix of all three maybe what situations you want you like to compare different things to each other in are the different contexts that matter to you so that again so that we can all learn from one another um, and share ideas and that's it for this video I hope you got something out of it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate that and I will see you in the next video where we learn how to choose our comparisons